tolerance is very important in spiritual life. After telling Arjun that he is not a body, he is eternal, and his body changes, Krishna says that Matras Prasitanti Asi Krishnasi Kadikada Adamabi Nitya Shanti Sasavarata. He says, the non permanent appearance of happiness and distress that uh, one should just tolerate it. Like uh, this happiness and distress should be tolerated, like heat in the summer, cold in the winter. And if one can do that, Krishna says, Yamina Japatanti Purusham Purusakshiva Sama Dukasakam Dram Somisatvaya Kautate. If one is not disturbed by this happiness and distress, then one is eligible for liberation. Why is that so important? Because if we are identified with this happiness and distress, we identify with the body. Because the happiness and distress is for the body, the temporary body. And one should tolerate that and fix on one, one's actions as a spirit soul. Because in the next six section, Krishna explains, Ikyan, you are a spirit soul and it gives all the characteristics of the soul. You are not a body. And then after that, he explains how to act as a spirit soul. That uh, this is further explained in the third and especially the fifth chapter. That uh, yes, one should do all one's activities as a jahya, as a sacrifice for Krishna, and as devotional service. All activities and devotional service. We should not be deviated from these activities by being under control, under this happiness and distress, this duality in this world, by being under control uh, of our likes and dislikes, and so on. What is what should be our attitude according to this, uh, according to Bhagavad Gita, towards this happiness and distress? In, in, in distress? In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, "Prasetet tvayam prapyan novichet prapya sabdam shirbus nirsh asamandur bama vidma manishtika." One should not be very elated when when uh, when an opportunity for sense gratification comes. It's all flickering temporary. And one should not be overly uh, uh, distressed when disturbance comes. It will come and it will go. We should tolerate. And that's Tirabuddhi as one with, with fixed, steady intelligence. And, that, and by that, by such intelligence, one with such intelligence, one should instruct the mind and be steady in our devotional service and tolerate everything. Like the Avanti Brahman. Avanti Brahman, he, he lost because he was a ve very greedy person. And he had a lot of wealth, but he would not give his family even a pinch of sense gratification, and they would hate him. One day, that his warehouse was burnt, and thieves uh, were stealing whatever he was left, and he lost everything in, in just a day. And, and his family hated him, rejected him. Now he's poor, we don't need him anymore. <laughs> so, so he went to a very deep period of distress, and distress was so intense that he started to reflect, reflect what's the cause of my distress. Because of my interest in, in distress is attachment. I give it up and I surrender to Krishna. And he took sannyas and he tolerated everything. And he, he had this determination. This verse explains that and, and yeah, whatever it takes, I will cross over this ocean of nations and surrender on the lotus feet of Krishna. This, this, uh, the surrender on the lotus feet of Krishna, whatever it takes. That, uh, because otherwise, 
if we are not fixed in our devotional service, then an Arab is robbing in this heavens and this earth, in our lives and dislikes. We will develop lust and identify and or maintain our lust and identify more and more with the body. So that's a requirement. Tolerance. Surely, surely we must build it up that and don't take this happiness in this earth too serious. It's all temporary, like this worldly life is flickering, our eternal life is, is blissful, and a devotee concentrates on dev developing his love for Krishna, and once, and this is basically just to tolerate his duality of this material world. Thank you very much.